Hello, this is Prakash and welcome to this tutorial for Spring Boot Quick Start. This tutorial requires a basic understanding of Spring Framework. But don't worry if you don't have that then also it is fine. You can pick it up during the course. It is fair amount of work for Java development and you will need some basic concepts. But it is not mandatory at all. So let's begin with this tutorial and we'll see what we're gonna cover in here. We'll start with uh, looking at what Spring Boot is. And then we will be building an end-to-end -end application using a Spring Boot. This application is gonna be a RESTful API application which will have controllers, data layers, service layers. Uh, it is not just a hello world application, it will be a full-fledged production ready. RESTful API application that we're gonna build here. After that we will see what are the Spring Boot features which are gonna help us to build this application and at the end we will see the different configuration and customization options Spring Boot provides. At the end of this course I'd like to follow along with me to build this application and we will be able to put post, get and delete request on any resources. We will be building resources and we will be using all these four requested on our resources. So let's begin with and start understanding what Spring Boot is. To understand a Spring Boot, it is a composite of two words Spring and Boot. So we need to know what Spring is. Spring is an application framework which can be used to build an enterprise Java application. It provides a programming and configuration models. What does that mean is like you do all the business logic and everything is written in POJO in the form of classes and then you do annotate those classes with a service annotation to treat them differently. So what Spring Framework does is it treats it the classes on the basis of annotations differently. We'll have a look at it um, as we go on with our building application which is going to be end-to-end -end application. A Spring Framework provides a lot of infrastructure support. It is a really huge framework which provides a lot of different things. So like for connecting to RDBMS or MongoDB, you have infrastructure support through Spring. But there are some problems with the Spring. The first thing is it's a huge framework. So you don't know which one you want to use, which part of it and which functionality of it you're going to use. Even if you decide it, then it involves some multiple steps for setting up configuration and building and deploying the application. So these are the some problems uh, with Spring Framework that you need to be very specific to decide what you're going to use. Here comes a Spring Boot. Uh, the word Spring Boot is composite of Spring and Boot. Spring is a framework as I've told earlier also and Boot stands for Bootstrap. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bootstrap a Spring Framework to build a Spring application using a Spring Boot tool. So basically the Spring Boot is nothing but a Spring Framework with opinionated frame configuration. So we do have a configuration which has already been set up for us and most of the time we are going to use this configuration for our application most of the time. Um, like 80 to 90 percent of the time you are going to use the same configuration and you can just tweak a little bit according to your requirement. What was happening before in Spring Framework was you have to write the configuration from scratch and which was very much time consuming. So the aim of Spring Boot was to abstract those configuration so that it will be ready, ready for you to just consume for your application and write business logic what you need is just to focus on your business logic and you have the whole configuration already built for you. That is the reason why 
uh, it is said that it is a convention over configuration so you are not spending your, a lot of time in configuration state you are using a already built configuration using a spring boot tool the fascinating fact about it is that it is a standalone application usually in spring framework when you develop an application you need a container to deploy it and you need a server to install maybe apache or um, some other server you can install uh, with a spring boot it comes as a package like whenever you start with a spring boot application it is a standalone it is a production ready you need not to do different configuration and installation and de deploying your application in the container it comes all together as a package so let's start uh, what we're gonna do is the first lecture uh, is to set up the development environment we'll be using java 8 sdk at least anything about java 8 um, is fine but at least Java 8 is required and how you, you can check it uh, in your system is you just go to the terminal or command prompt and just type Java version to see what version you are running into so mine is uh, Java version 11.0.1 .1, which is 8 and above so I'm all good so make sure you have the Java version of 8 and above for um, this tutorial. Let's go back to the slide and what we're going to use is a Spring Tool Suite um, ID. You can use Eclipse or NetBeans but I'm going to use the STS in here. And we'll walk through that we're going to start with a Maven project if you are not familiar with maven then i'll give a brief overview right now here uh, but people who know what is maven they can skip from here so uh, you have an application and you have a pom.xml in your application uh, we'll be looking at it very shortly but you can just imagine right now there is an application and it has one file which is a pom.xml file which is an xml file and you give a lot of different configuration um, jar dependencies uh, which you gonna use in your application when you write these de uh, dependencies in your pom.xml what maven does is it goes to the repository and um, it requests that all those jar files i'm gonna need in my application it provides all the jar files that you have mentioned the pom.xml so we'll be looking at very shortly it was a brief overview of a maven maven is nothing but a tool to download all the jars from the repository to your application and uh, the configuration is written in pom.xml where you describe your dependencies on different jars files so uh, let's begin with it uh, uh, and we'll continue in the next lecture and start with um, going for the spring tool suite